and people are screaming and running everywhere. And uh, he's he's trying to gouge my eyes out. I'm still getting punched. Kimura. Straight arm lock, straight arm lock. I broke his arm. Um, I broke his arm like backwards. I can finish them if I have to. All right, Jesse on fire. Welcome back to the channel. So I've been promising this to you guys for a long time, and I am just now finally getting around to it. So. I did a very long interview with Dean Lister uh, a couple weeks ago, and he told me so many awesome stories that I was like, I can't just put this out in like a three hour podcast. Like we're gonna chop it down and give people the highlights because there are some great ones. And in this particular one, Dean is going to tell us a story about when he was in Mexico at a Ariano Felix cartel owned club where one of the cartel guys got upset with him he got attacked, got a, uh, a bottle broken on his head, and he was forced to use his jujitsu in a life and death scenario. Uh, and one of those guys came out extremely injured. So I don't want to, I don't want to ruin the story. So we'll uh, we'll let him tell it. But that is what you are in store for here. And so, if you like this content, subscribe and ring the bell because even though I'm normally just kind of doing commentary, even though my commentary. <laughs> commentary is the best in the business by a mile don't let the subscriber count fool you this is fire all the time now you're gonna start getting some real-life stories from some real-life fighters who have had to defend themselves in real life because I think that hearing these stories is fascinating and awesome because what is a better story than martial arts saving someone's life it's really I mean honestly like saving saving your life by shattering the arm of a cartel member pretty good story right and i just had john halcomlin on as well we're gonna do uh, i'm gonna chop down some of his as well because his entire martial arts system is based on protecting yourself in real life but subscribe ring the bell tell your friends forward this around because here we go dean lister talking about using his world championship level jujitsu to defend himself in a life or death scenario in tijuana mexico against cartel members let's go you can leave the situation that's better. Even the guys, guys, get the fuck out and leave the situation. Don't fight a guy for no reason. Yeah, you, you know what have they a, have a knife have a or a gun. Might have a buddy. You don't know what they're gonna do. Yeah. Leave, okay? If you have to fight, don't be on the ground. Oh, I'm a ground fighter. I'll put some on the ground, stop them, okay? And I can leave, or I can finish them if I have to, okay? I can, I can, I, I've actually had several fights with multiple opponents, and I've actually won. I've actually won. I had one fight with eight people. I didn't win that fight, but it was kind of a eight. I didn't. I, yeah, that's a bit. That's a big six to big, ten. I don't, I don't know. I, I lost count. I, I I beat up one guy really bad because he he broke a bottle over my head. Um, I broke his arm like backwards, like like this, but the opposite direction. His arm was what? Like, uh, what did what'd you put on? Like what'd you put on him? Kimura. Straight arm lock, straight arm lock. I broke his arm because he broke a bottle of head, you know? Yeah, of course. But it was in Mexico. These are mafia guys, and this is a very dangerous situation. And I almost got killed. This is in the year 2001 or 2002, and I almost got killed. And in the end, it wasn't my fault. It was over a girl. It was so stupid, right? And the guy broke a bottle of my head, didn't knock me out, and uh, I broke his arm, and his friends were kicking me, punching me. So I, I didn't say I beat up eight guys, but I beat I, I fucked up one guy real bad, and uh, I escaped with my life. Okay, so that's my story with eight guys. Maybe it was six, maybe it was ten. I don't know. Okay, it wasn't three. Okay, it was six to ten. Did they, eight, did, they okay? uh, did they let up and you ran, or like did they, or were they like we're done and you were alive? Okay, here's a, you want to hear a story or no? One hundred percent. So it was a club called Tangalu in Tijuana, Calif uh, Baja California, in yep. Mexico. And this is, I didn't know at the time, but that's where, where the, the, the mafioso guys yeah, are yeah. now. This is back in 2001 or something. I arrived late. Well, not, it's not it's similar, like, but yeah, yeah not, not big, but, so, but Gangs, similar. Yeah. Gangster club. So sure. I, arrived, yeah. I arrived there like late, and my friends had a table. Jesse, just, just so you know, like these gangster clubs were serious gangster clubs. Oh, no, clubs. I remember. Where, like, I, I, Ariana, Fle Ariana, Felix, Ariana Felix. Yeah, I remember. I used to go down like, there and to like. I still in like. I was thinking about that recently. Like 2005, 2006. I would still go down there, and I would go yeah, to. Yeah, it, it, it was seriously fun. But the most dangerous clubs uh -huh. uh, like here's, anywhere close to. But America. here's the problem. Okay, the Mexican dudes, uh, with all due respect, <laughs> they don't respect fighters as much. Like no. the Russian mafia dudes. Oh, yeah. Man, they're like you're a fighter that you respect you. Yeah, um, life is cheap. Those Japan, guys respect the gun. In, in Japan, Japan, they're like, you're a fighter that 
pretty much respect you. Okay? Yeah, yeah. In Brazil, whatever. I'm, I'm not saying names or organ. I'm not saying anything. Organization, nothing. Okay. I'm saying that Mexico, for whatever reason, man, they'll they'll, they'll shoot you in the back of the head. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's weird. This is how it is. Now, thank God they didn't have guns on themselves at that moment. Okay. So, okay, I arrived late to see my friends. Um, a friend named Dave Ventura and a friend named Mark Mark Dion. Mark Dion passed away, unfortunately, but um, they had a table. I arrived late. I speak Spanish, though, so I'm the only white dude who speaks Spanish. I speak Portuguese as well and a few languages also, but I arrived late, and um, and they said, hey, Dean, these guys at this other table are trying to fight us. I'm like, I look over, and they're, they're staring us down. And I went, hey, mira, amigo, no, no tenemos problema. We, we, we no problems with you. And they're like, fuck you, chico, tu madre. They're like, um, no, no. That's South America. It's chinga. Whatever. They were like uh, saying, uh, you know, screw your mom and whatever. Yeah, like, yeah, man, whatever. Yeah, and I was like, whatever, you know. So then later on, we go to the dance floor. When I was younger, I used to go to the dance floor. I don't do that anymore. I'm older now. But we go to the dance floor. We're hanging out. Dance floor, hanging out. This is like an hour later. So now it's like one in the morning. And I go, hey, I'll go take a piss. I'll be right back. I go take a piss on the way to the bathroom. Something hot. I'm talking. I was like 24. It's like 19 year old go go dancer girl, like a blonde Mexican girl, a natural blonde by the way, like a natural blonde, like a peninsula, like a, like a Spanish blonde, uh, Mexican girl. I love she Mexican. Grabbed, I, I, I walked by. She grabbed my shoulder and turned away. She, she like grabbed me and turned away. And I said, "I have to be como estás." She goes, "Ah, oh, you speak Spanish." And she's playing with her hair like she's liking me. I didn't know until later on that that was the ex-girlfriend of, of the same guy at the table. The, the, the guys that were, by coincidence, you know, whatever. The guys who had a problem with my friends, that was the ex-girlfriend of one of the, of, of the leader of that table. So I'm talking to her now. I'm not going to go piss at the moment. I'm, I stopped talking to the girl in Spanish. And she's like, wow, you speak Spanish? Wow, it's cra crazy. For a, huero, a, a white guy to speak Spanish, I'm not talking to her. And all of a sudden, I realized there was a bunch of guys around me. And I look, and it's the same guy who was saying, like, fuck you, chinga tu madre, the same guy. He's next to her, talking to me like, hey, what, what's up? And I go, oh, man, I, I asked her, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't know it, it, you have a boyfriend. She goes, not my boyfriend anymore, <laughs> in Spanish. And then um, all of a sudden, from the side, I get a bottle cracked over my head. And um, and now and, and that guy, so from the side I got a bottle broken over my head. I don't know if it broke or not. It was a Sky Vodka. Sky Vodka is a very thick oh, bottle, wow. so it cut me. I had did, 20, it, did it, I it a, broke? The Sky Vodka. I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah. But I had twenty. I had twenty to thirty little cuts, like zipper cuts. Yeah. Bro. That's why I had this bump here. This, this bump. Yeah. This it bump here. Must have broken. That. And the thing is, I don't. Maybe it did. Maybe it didn't. But it cut me. They were not connected. It, it could have been an artist scar like this. It was like 20 little zipper cuts. Yeah. I needed no stitches, but I was bleeding a lot. So it hit me, boom, I, a black flash, like someone hit, kicked me in the head. Yeah, yeah. And now everyone's that. punching me. Everyone's punching me from all angles, right? I didn't start this. So over a girl, I didn't know this until later on, right? That's the ex-girlfriend of that guy. The leader of the guy was the guy in, in, in my face. Um, and... Uh, and he was trying to gouge my eyes. He had his thumbs in, in my, my eyeballs. I, just, I took him to the ground. We fell over a couch. And people are screaming and running everywhere. And he's, he's trying to gouge my eyes out. I'm still getting punched. I'm on the ground. I grab his arm. We're on the ground. I broke his arm backwards. Like, like, like. Yeah. I'd like to, I'd like to, interject, I I'd like to interject really quickly. Dean's arms are... Like, I have thick wrists. Dean's arms, his wrists are, like, my wrists oh. are really thick. His are gigantic. Yeah, Christian, for, gets, for those of you watching, Christian's 200 and what, 225? 240. 240. 240. Yeah, so Christian's 240 of brick muscle, and then there you go, compare If, if, if Dean gets, gets his hands around anyone, they – Cannot get away. Like it's it's. I'm it's, not saying that. It's, no, it's 100 percent true. So when you so so when you went full throttle to break his arm, well, I broke like, it because because yeah, I'm getting yeah. kicked in the head. Yeah, yeah. By the way, standing. And so you have the adrenaline, adrenaline too. I could not leave any. I could not leave. Okay, 
I'm in the middle of eight guys or six or ten. I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay, punch kick. I threw the guy with the couch. He's guys in my eyes. I had two black eyes the next day. You know, he's got, he put his thumbs in my eyes, yeah. kind of, and uh, broke his arm backwards, backwards. And I'm getting punched, and the security came, broke it up, and um, what? How he, loud? He, like what? It, what's the noise he made when you broke his arm? Did well, he, I could feel the crunch, 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 crunch. Yeah. And, and um, did he scream? And so, 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 yeah, he's like, oh, yo, 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 yo. That, by the way, culturally, how you yell, it's weird. Brazilians, male or female, say, ay, 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 ay. Americans go, ay, ay, ay. And Mexicans go, oh, yo, 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 a bottle of someone's head, you don't know. Don't do that yeah. shit, right? In my opinion. But it turns out, they, the security brought, I'm bleeding everywhere. I had a nice white shirt, wound my shirt, blood all everywhere. They brought me down to the security area. They said, we're calling the police. I'm like, oh, shit, okay, police. I didn't know the owner of the nightclub, the son of the owner, was like a fan. His name was Alex. He came down. He was, he was the boss of the club. He came down. He said, Dean, uh, I'm a fan of you for whatever reason, right? Uh, they're, 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 these security guys are friends, he said in English to me. They're friends with these guys, these mafia guys. And they're waiting for them uh, to get their guns. And they're going to push you out the back door. And they're going to kill you. So, it, so I'll tell them because I'm their boss. They won't stop me. So there's four fat next to me dudes like, blocking the door. Like, really very hard to leave at that moment. I mean, who, who are you there with? Myself. Only myself. He goes, Dean, I'm going to tell him to move, run for your life out the front door, not the back door. Run for your life because they're going to kill you right now. I ran from – and they moved because he's the boss, right? They were friends with the mafia guys. And I ran out the front door, and my, thank God my friend Mark Dion was in this car looking at me. I got in the car. We drove off, and I, I survived. It turns out those guys got – okay, they all got killed. Like, um, they were all mafia guys. In the drug war in 2005, 2006, they all got killed, okay? Uh, now, the funny part of the story, the guy that broke his arm. So, the guy started all the problems. He started, he broke, his friend broke the bottle of my head. He started the issue, and it was more than one guy. So, it's, it's multiple people, it's a weapon involved, and they hit me first. So, I broke his arm. Sorry about that. The funny story is that he, apparently, his arm, they had to heal it like that. So he had yeah. to walk around in a cast like that for like, I don't know, a month. And, and you know what's, like crazy, that. what's funny is, is since, since the owner of that club knew who you were, he got to find out that the dude that shattered his arm is fucking Dean Lister from the UFC. No, this is even more funny. They thought I was Ken Shamrock. They're like, oh, Ken Shamrock. <laughs> um, I'm like, what? All white people look the same? What's the fuck, man? Yeah. On, man. Better. I'm like, oh, I'm like, it's like, it's probably better. He you I, I, I told, I told Sherman, I'm like, just so you know, they might have confused. It. He's like, it's okay, bro. It's okay. So he's fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm not saying, unfortunately, like, okay, unfortunately, because I don't, I don't like people getting killed, but okay, whatever. The case was they all got killed a few years later in the drug wars, right? There, there were mafia, not. No mafia level guys. Narcos. They were they're they were narcos. they were street level um, drug guys, right? Whatever. So yeah, they, they um, man, I almost got killed though. They actually, yeah. I, I heard from a friend from a friend who knew the people who got killed. I mean, all of them got killed. All these guys got killed. They had two guys with pistols and one guy had an AK forty seven waiting for me out in the back door. They're waiting for the gringo to get kicked out in the back and they're gonna shoot me or kidnap me or torture me or both or all of them, right? So. That was one of my like nine lives. I, I, I think sure. I have one life left. I think I, have, I I think I have one life left. I think so. Yeah, man. Mexican, but, like that. That is a crazy ass story. And like, and this is this is not me bragging, by the way. Okay, I'm all due respect. I'm saying that don't go to Mexico and do stupid shit. Okay, because no, yeah, just don't go, don't to, give a fuck, don't go to Tijuana don't give a fuck. at all anymore. Like that's like I I think about that all the time. That I used to go down there, and and I went you know I went to CD. I went to places. That I would, yeah. that I know for sure were owned by those guys. Like now, in hindsight, for sure owned by that that you know element. And it's like I can't believe I used to do that. I used to do it all the time. They're pretty fun though. They are really fun, but uh, yeah. 
still so sketchy. Listen, okay. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Plenty more where this came from. So subscribe, ring the bell, tell your friends. Love you guys. Look for more. Chat soon.